plaintiff, Randy Salazar, dated the defendant for 20 years, but he broke up with her because she cheated and humiliated him. Randy claims he was devastated after he caught the defendant topless in their home with his co-worker, and he's suing her today for unpaid bills. Defendant Tina Markov says Randy broke up with her three times during their relationship, and during one of those breaks, she did start seeing Randy's co-worker, but she insists Randy knew about their relationship. Tina's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, I was in a relationship with this woman for 20 years. Wow. I loved her very much. Uh, raised her children been, since they were six, four, and four. What was it like, those 20 years? Well, we had our ups and downs. Ups and downs regarding what? Fighting, you know. Physically? Just a, just a normal. No. Pretty much. No, not physically. Okay. Not physically. So you all broke up a 20-year relationship doing what everybody does? Yes, sir, Your Honor. Who left? I left, Your Honor. I had to leave. Oh, you found you a woman. Who are you kidding? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. Am I right? Who are you no, kidding? Uh, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, what happened then? Well, that caused then, you to walk away. Why'd you This woman's deceived me, lied to me, cheated, and uh, humiliated me, Your Honor. Okay. You caught her cheating in the 20th year? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, 1996, uh, she not only cheated on me this first time, but there was a time before that with a, a friend, mutual friend of ours. Uh, he was out of a job. We, I let him in. I, I hired him. He stayed at our our uh, house where we lived, resided. And one morning I woke up, Tina was in, in, beside me in bed. When, when in the living room, nobody was there, nobody was up. I, get up. I used to get up early to go to work. Went downstairs and found them hand in hand together, laying on the floor with her top off. She was, uh, had her blouse off. She was still in bra, but they were embraced, sleeping with each other on the floor. I was very hurt, deceived, like I said, hurt. I cried, uh, what can I tell you? I mean, you know, how would you feel? Um, I, I woke both of them up. I might have gotten violent. <laughs> I woke, I woke both of them up, you know, to find Shouldn't. out what, what was going on. And they, they probably they, wouldn't have. They probably, they, they, I would have prayed I didn't. <laughs> I would have probably, to be honest, I would have ran as far as I could, quickly as I could out of the house. You know, I've done that before in recent years. They said, what does the judge just break out running for? Because <laughs> <laughs> somebody just said, somebody has provoked me. So, yeah, in fact, that was my wife and them. Greg, why you take off running? <laughs> Don't you hear how this man is talking to me? Why would you run? You scared? <laughs> I said, no, I ran so that I can stay on television. <laughs> 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 now, <laughs> that's what you should do. So. Any of you all listening, when you, something is happening that is so outrageous that it might provoke violence, just run. I mean, it's just as quick as you can, just as quick as your head turn red. It's, oh, let me get out of here. And run as fast as you can so that when your head comes back to you, you're too far away to uh, come back and fight. So what did you do, though? Well, I woke him up and confronted them both, asked what, what's going on here. You got in a fight with It was with a them. back rub. You I got did not in get in a fight with, with him. I did not get in a fight. fight. You tell me what happened. I told him to get out of the house. What happened, sir? We got in a fight he earlier had... at the apartment. We were together, and he left me three times during this relationship. And one of this particular time that he left, I did get involved with this younger man, and we did have a thing. And then Randy and him became friends, and he got him a job, and he did move in with us so that they could get to work together. And at that particular time, they did get into an argument over me, which it was a back rub, but I had had relationships with him prior to him and I getting back together, because I did ask him to come back with Did me. you tell him that when he moved in with you guys? Yeah, he knew that we had an, things and a thing so before. So, had, yeah, it was... You knew they had been in a relationship? And they got in a fight. They didn't, didn't know till after the fact, oh. sir. No, I told him I had a relationship and with him. And what did he say when you told him that? They just got in a fight, and then they... No, 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 no. Oh. Talking about when moving oh. your ex into his house, you told him. Yep. I want you to know we were going together now. We did. We were dealing with each other. We did. <laughs> we but you did. can put him in here if you want to. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> Plain and simple. One morning I woke up, Tina was in, in, beside me in bed. Went downstairs and found them hand in hand together, laying on the floor with her top off. She was, uh, had her blouse off. She was still in bra, but they were embraced, sleeping with each other on the floor. Defendant Tina Markov dated the plaintiff for 20 years, but he claims he broke up with Tina after he caught her topless in their home with his co-worker. What's the suit about, sir? Go ahead, <laughs> let's get to the lawsuit. Unpaid bills, Your Honor. Pardon me? Go Unpaid tell me what bills. Happened. I have a monetary breakdown to show you. Tell me what happened. Well, we were living together, sir, Your Honor. 
all of us paid the bills evenly. Her children, we all worked. We, all, we paid them equally. When I left and heard about the, the affair here, I trusted her. I, we tried talking and getting this paid off, trusting her that she would pay her bills while I live in there. The Xfinity bill, bill was under my name, and so was the uh, AT&T bill. In fact, I'd, I'd like to show you the monetary please. breakdown of this, this part anyway. What is it? Which bill? It's both of them combined. Okay. The, the cable bill, the total 895. June of 16, there's an outstanding balance. It says 194, but is that her share? That is, no, that's part that's of it, the sir. Total? That's part of it. That's the previous balance, sir, Your Honor. What is her share of that? Remember, you all would split the bill. 895 since May. I have all the bill breakdowns. And it says, please pay immediately. 336.40. The new charges were 370. And you 90. divided them by five, sir? The 336.40, yes, Your Honor, was for 416 of this year. She didn't pay that until June of 2016. There was a new charge of 370.90 for a total amount due of 707.30. Everything you're telling me has it been divided by five. No, it has not, Your Honor. This so is just total you bill. want me to do the math? <laughs> and is the total amount 1531 you're suing for? Has that been divided by five? No, Your Honor, it has not. There was an early termination fee of $630 that I had to pay that when I left the house. Let me hear from you, ma'am. You're um, not yes. being clear at all. Go ahead, ma'am. What do you want to tell me you owe, um, if anything? Actually, on the cable bill, we mm -hmm. had to go down to Xfinity together and sign off on it mm -hmm. together with, and show our IDs because he was adamant to get off the account because he didn't want anything in his name anymore. So we went down there together. So on his account, they kept his name and they get created a new account for me. So whatever early termination fees went on to his account. But I did pay the bills sufficiently, not on time, but divided by five. So the last bill wasn't 194, but we got off the account together. So he got billed for the rest. And, okay, and, you yep. got off the account what month? He moved April 2nd. Okay. Um, and I don't All know right. where Sir, he- Sir, <laughs> did she pay one fifth yes. oh. of the bills up until the time you canceled? Well, she had all the bills going to her mother's account and paying them mm -hmm. through her um, computer. She has my social security number. She knows everything about my bills. That is, that's her kids were giving her money as well. How much do you believe you owe on the cable bill, if anything? I believe I owe nothing. And if he has a problem, a dispute, he should take it up with Xfinity and AT&T on both counts. Because after I was Or off, explain this case better to me. Right. And show me how the total amount for whatever he's claiming the fee is, is divided by five. What's your claim for the cell phone bill? I haven't paid bills, sir. I have the uh, bills right here from... What's your claim for the cell phone bill, sir? $636. For what months and is it divided? What from is May the... 16th, which was $195. June 16th, which was 198 on their part. The four, the four lines. And July 16th, Okay, ma'am, did you have cell phones on in his name? Yes, uh, we got him disconnected on July 29th. All right, do you owe for that? He, I have a, a, a text messages for you here, uh -huh. sir. Stating, stating that he was going to pay the $750 on the bill. And he did, and um, by- On uh, your behalf? And yeah, on our, yeah, you I, off have the hook it, I have it documented on cell phones. Hold phone. on, oh, I'll ask you what I need. Oh, sorry, yeah. I apologize. All right, sorry. he told you he would pay all of the balance due on the cell phone bill. Yep. And he told you that by text. Yes. I have to read it, it says, where you believe he's telling you you no longer have to pay him. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's. I said, we got off the account. You're officially off everything. So if there's a problem, let me know. He said, okay, I'll see what's up and give you a final answer just for the sake of me paying the $750 of the final phone bill. You said you were, t and I said, you said you were taking care of the bill, the final bill, and I'm sorry. And that was the end of the day. Let's see what you have. You have anything? <laughs> she she interprets that as yes, sir. you I said you would pay for the final bill. I had to make arrangements, like I said before. I understand. Pay. We're talking about her, your communications with her. Defendant Tina Markoff dated the plaintiff for 20 years, but he claims he broke up with Tina after he caught her topless in their home with his coworker. 
Let's see the text you just read off, ma'am, and I'll see what right date here. that is. And then we'll see what you have after that date asking for your money. Because she gives me text messages that she has interpreted as you telling her she doesn't owe you anymore. Plaintiff to defend it. Okay, I'll see what's up and give you a final answer just for the sake of me paying the 750 final phone bill. I don't really understand what that means, and she's just ho holding on to those few words, <laughs> you know, That's correct. that you gave, which are a little confusing. You have anything after July 29th where you ask her for money? And I can see her response. Yes, I do. It's about the Comcast bills, Your Honor. Let's see what you have. Let's see what you have. So you leave me alone. You're pretty stupid. Okay, here we go. He says it's on the sheet somewhere. Because I believe you're a sincere man. You know, I know you've went through a lot. And I'm just going to try and find it for you. It seems like you're having a hard time. All right. Then you go back on that an hour later. <laughs> And then you say, did you take care of the Comcast bill? You <laughs> took care of the Comcast bill, didn't you? And then you say, because it's a big one. <laughs> yep. And then you say, why did I get the bill? <laughs> she says, don't know, don't care. I have my own account changed that day. Yep. That's... You say to her, Tina, you owe that bill since March. She says, my A. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you say, it's your A, all right. <laughs> and she says, sue me. <laughs> then she says, you say, huh? She <laughs> says, leave me alone. I'm blocking your number. <laughs> Nowhere does she admit to owing you. <laughs> but I believe you are owed some money and just don't know how to present your case. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> but unfortunately, the law doesn't allow me to do that. Counterclaim for emotional distress. Okay. For harassment and... Well, how do you harass you? What do you do? Calling me names. And I have a witness and I have a letter from my son. I have multiple times for you, Honor. Did you say any nasty words what? to him? Yeah, one. You better hope that yours is worse. Otherwise, I am going to grant him his claim. That's okay. Because you will have deceived me. You will have deceived me. Let's see what you have. Let's see what you have. Is this what I have for him? Yeah, that's right. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to view this as deception and, this, and grant him his claim. You're super deceiving, he says to you, hypocritical. Uh, B, did call your name. I mean, really, are you satisfied now? You're the one that cheated, lied, and deceived me, and now you're still over me? You really believe I deserve this? Oh, well, what this indicates is that he really does feel that you owe him. He's pressuring you for it. And you are not saying, I don't owe you. You've never said that once. You say, good luck. You're not going to have a phone. You say all sorts of things related to not paying him. Therefore, I'm going to conclude that you have perjured yourself. Thanks for the evidence. Judgment for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. Thank you, Thank you.